The Roman Testudo, ladies and gentlemen, a typical image of ancient Rome, if ever there was one. Impenetrable, sophisticated and disciplined. In many ways, it sums up our image of the Roman military machine. But indeed, what we want to do here on To Nerds the Human is a bit of modding. So that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to see if we can give the Testudo formation onto other units. Of course, we looked at this with Phalanxes very recently, and this is going to follow a similar kind of trend to that. Some of it might uh, slightly break the game, but we're going to see where the margins for error are, what units we can change around, and what uh, perhaps won't work. But this is an incredibly elegant system. The Testudo in Rome Total War was probably the high point of Testudo in Total War history. I don't think they've ever made anything quite as dynamic and elegant as this. Every time a man is killed, they will shuffle along. If you tell the unit to move along, they will do so. They will turn beautifully and in unison. Now, if you want to know a bit more about the Testudo and more of a discussion about the mechanics of how it all works, there are a couple of really good videos by Voland. I'll put a little description, a uh, link in the description below. But for now, it's probably time to head into the game files because there's a few little things that we want to change around. Since I skipped the introduction, I will wish you a goodly evening. This is the Nerdist to Human, and this is very much a follow-up to the previous videos on Phalanxes. And as such, we need to be in the same place, in the same files. So Rome Total War Gold to begin with. We're going to head into the Data subfolder, and down here, we're going to head into Export Desca Unit. Inside the file here, then, you'll see all the information you need is explained at the top of the file. But of course, like last time when we looked at Phalanxes, we're looking at the formation section here. So we saw Phalanx was written here along with Square, Horde, Testudo, Wedge. You can only have two of these formations on any one unit. So what I want to do is look for Testudo. I'm just going to highlight that. I'm going to find it down in the text. Got the Silver Shield Legionnaires, lovely, but uh, no, let's go look at a Roman. So the early legionary cohort, a lovely example then. They have Testudo and the Square formation. As I said, you need one or two no more no less formations on this list now the other thing of course we need to think about is what units we want to give the testudo to now for me i think it's going to make sense to give it to something else with a shield at least to start with we'll muck around a little bit later so to know that we've got to see which part of this tells us about the shield and that of course comes under the armor section here but what these numbers mean you might not quite know so to check that, of course, we'll just head back up towards the top and it will explain all of that. So the stat primary armor, here we are, the armor factor, number one, then the defensive skill and then the shield factor. As it says here, just to clarify, for attacks on the front and the left, but hopefully the studio will help to shore that up. So we want the third number on our list. Let's head back down the Testudo the early legionary cohort and now we want to go and copy and paste this into another unit so i'm going to head up to the velites because i think there will be a nice example to start us off with so next to square i'm just going to paste in testudo let's save that up and let's load the game here we are then with the velites and we've got ourselves the testudo formation available to be selected now i've got us two units here because what i want to do is um quite unscientifically but sort of illustrate the difference that the Testudo is going to be making. So let's test it up. Let's get these guys into formation. And hopefully they will shuffle along and make the Testudo form with pretty good efficiency. The training doesn't seem to make much difference. They now know how to do it as if they're a well-trained and oiled machine. Now, of course, these are much smaller shields. The scooter itself, I think on these guys, is at a shield of five. Is it? Yes, yeah, a shield of five, and these guys, it should be three. Oh, it's two, in fact, so there's a difference of three between them. So I'm pretty sure we all are aware of quite how much these guys will melt under Archer Fire, and we probably expect the Testudo to do much better. Indeed, that's what I am hoping for as well. So we're going to march these guys forward, and we'll just see what difference that we find when they start taking the Archer Fire. Now, I don't know the exact mathematics here. It should point out, actually. Nice to have a good look at them shuffling along. They seem to be doing it very well. Good news. And no crashing just yet. Marvellous. 
So yeah, I don't know the mathematical differences here, but I guess that's what we're going to try to estimate. For example, I know in Medieval 2 the armor piercing damage will essentially half the armor stat of the unit that's being hit. Whereas for Testudo, I'm not sure how much that will raise the shield ability. It might well raise it quite a lot. So as you said, let us have a shield of two and these guys have a shield of, well, two and plus how much more? I don't really know. We're going to find out. Now they're starting to take fire. They're starting to take fire. Now, of course, the game is very happy to be shooting that unit because it knows it's kind of wasting its time against Testudo. So in some ways, yeah, that, that early volley there has absolutely slaughtered them. Perhaps they'll all start aiming on this unit afterwards. Let's speed this up. We might start to get an idea. Why are they still wondering? I suppose it makes sense for skirmishes to attack us. We'll get the Oleditri cohort to go into Testudo as well. I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. Now, these guys have taken the odd little hit here. Interesting. Now they're mostly aiming at this unit. And we are certainly taking lighter chunks. It's very hard to estimate exactly what it is. Now I would suggest, from my experience of watching Testudos, um, that the early Literary Cohort will do a much better job of it with their Shield of 5. So we should expect them to be at least twice as good. But I suppose uh, we will see. Yeah, this definitely is working though. I would say it's a big success for the Testudo. They are certainly holding it a lot better than their friends. Although I would suggest not as well. As, uh, as another unit such as the Odeisian Cohort. I think certainly what the mass is doing is it's massively multiplying the shield of the unit when it's in Testudo. But it's hard to know exactly how much. Okay, this is, um, as I said, unscientific, but I'm sure you get the idea. It's definitely been making a big difference. And these guys, even while they're moving and taking fire from everyone, barely lost anything at all. So whatever the multiplier is on the shield, it seems to be... Something like that as how the mathematics is working. Fine, the Velites works very nicely. They have a small shield, so it's making a swell, a fairly sizable difference actually, but not as big a difference as a bigger, more chunky shield. So um, let's try it out with some different units, I think. Firstly then, we're gonna take a sword bearing unit from the ghouls here, the Naked Fanatics, because it kind of seems funny to give them a huge defensive buff. So that's what we're going to do. They are going to get themselves Testudo, as are the Chosen Swordsmen. And let's just scroll down to the Gallic version. We can test these two together, of course. Marvellous stuff. And finally, we want to pick a unit that has no shield. So there are two that I'm kind of interested in here. Number one is the Sam Knights. So if we go over to the Sam Knight Gladiator, they have zero, but it has worked when I've used it with them. So we're going to give it a go. And the other one that's kind of interesting and a bit related is the Arcani. Now, the Arcani technically do have two on the armor. They don't actually hold a shield, so they're kind of funny. So we're going to put that one in as well. So let's go back into the game and we'll test out those four units. Let's start off with the non-Roman units then. And we've got the Chosen Swordmen who are going to shuffle into Testudo. Now, these guys do have a shield of five, just like we saw earlier with the early Legionary Cohort. So they should fare pretty similar. They have very strong armor. They should be pretty darn solid in this position. If it's going to break, it's normally at this point where they put the shields up. But no, theirs is working absolutely fine. This works on untrained units as well. Obviously, these guys are pretty well trained, but these guys are not at all. So we'll just get them to shuffle, just so they can get used to that. Naked Fanatics next then. Not wearing an awful lot of clothing, but they can shuffle themselves into a nice, organised, defensive Testudo. Big shields. I think there's a five as well. I'm not sure any shields have more than five on this. Uh, might have to check that up. Now, of course, their lack of armour does mean anything that sneaks through the shield is pretty much going to kill them. But it does mean that they're pretty well defended. There we go. That's working as well. We'll get them to shuffle forward just as a, an example. Uh, Chosen Swordsmen are getting picked off a little bit. As you'll know, they, uh, they're okay against Arrow Fire. They've got really good armour. They've got a good shield. But they will get picked apart in time. That's what we're seeing here. But I'm pretty certain these guys will do remarkably well indeed. But I think the Naked Fanatics is the most interesting one. And potentially a thumbnail opportunity. I guess you'll know what the thumbnail is by the time you're listening. But uh, these guys... <laughs> <laughs> These guys are quite fun, it should be said. So let's see how they do. We might have to watch them shoot the other units first because, of course, 
one of the nice things about the mechanics on this is that they do tend to aim for the non testudo unit. I mean, that just makes sense. I think one of the things in Rome Total War is that because units would break so quickly, you often didn't get to see how, quite how good the AI was. The AI, honestly, I, I think is a little bit harshly treated sometimes with regards to more modern Total War. I think there was a not very sensible AI. If you do enough of these battles, you will find that they start to skirmish around the back of your testudos. They're not bothering right now because, of course, you know, they've got people that they can just shoot like these chosen swordsmen. But, uh, yeah, I think the AI, surprisingly sensible job when they see this formation in front of them. The Chosen Swordsmen are very much taking those hits. They have lost, what, two men here? They're obviously already shuffled. Yeah, just a little bit of a wander around, but they're doing a very good job of holding out. As for our Naked Fanatics, you can see now one of them on the side there has just been picked off. They're going to shuffle along like a good old Roman would. Lovely work. These guys are getting much more slaughtered than they are. Keep on the little, little jiggle around along the sidelines here. Thank you very much, sir. Into position. You see, yeah, um, the mechanics seem to just run perfectly fine, even on the non-Roman units like these chaps here. I did try this for head hurlers, who technically have no shield, um, but do have a sword, and it didn't work with them. That crashed the game. That's one of the exceptions to my general rule. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go through all the units here, but it seems, by and large... To work for any unit that has itself a sword so let's go into those two other uh, other weird units the arcani and the samnite gladiators because those ones could be very interesting indeed these guys by the way before we leave it are holding out very very well this as you can imagine is the truest test of my little theory about the swords because the arcani well technically according to their stats do have a shield but i guess it's just them using their sword as a defensive mechanism. So we're just going to get this unit here to go and shuffle into a testudo. And they are quite funny in fairness because they just hold their swords up like a shield. It's very cute. This one seems to have lost it actually. There we are. Very nice. So put your swords up, put your shields up then. Come on, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And that hasn't crashed the game. That works perfectly fine. Now, um, obviously, Sam Knights are slightly different. These guys uh, don't have any shield at all. And these really shouldn't work. I'm um, a little bit perplexed as to why this worked when I tried it before. It's probably going to break now if I've just said that. There we are. Get yourselves into formation, chappies. They can get themselves set. There's obviously a bunch of Greek archers wandering over here slowly. But there we are. Come on, put your arm up just to go and block everything out of the sky. Is this going to work? It worked! <laughs> They're braced! Looks like they're doing the thriller dance there. That is magnificent. So yeah, I'm not quite sure why these guys worked and when I tried the uh, the British head hurlers, it didn't. They also have no shields. But um, hey-ho, I guess there are some small little details in the files that is uh, maybe tricking that. Maybe because they've got a particularly strange missile weapon. But otherwise, they are quite similar to the Vitelli. So a bit of a strange one, but hey-ho. There's always going to be exceptions when you mod and so it does tend to cause a little bit of instability. The most interesting part isn't so much that they form a testudo, but so much as is it going to make a difference because they've got no shield. So in many ways, it really shouldn't. So they have this bit of armor, maybe it bounces off, and they're all tightly packed and they are better defended. But realistically, they should um, they should do virtually the same. If anything, these guys are more spread out, and they should be able to um, to, to kind of dodge the arrow if by chance. Now they are aiming for this unit, which suggests they know this is in testudo. But of course, at the start of the episode, or start of the video, I was saying how presumably what's happening is the shield is being multiplied when they're in this formation. But if their shield is zero, then presumably this makes no difference. I guess we'll find out. As for these guys, these technically do have a shield. So um, as far as I'm concerned, they should have a shield of two and thus be fine. But um, quite what the... Uh, I mean, the game generally models surface areas quite nicely. So... Is this sword now the surface area of the shield that might deflect it? I don't know, but hey-ho. Let's speed this up. Let's see them uh, shoot these guys down. They actually last quite well simply because of their... Uh, yeah, simply because of the fact that they've got plenty of armour. They are eating them. Okay. So, perhaps, perhaps it's not just a simple multiplier to the shield. Perhaps it does it to armour as well, or maybe... It just throws up the whole max defense. Maybe it doesn't do anything to the shield. 
very interesting. I don't know exactly what the uh, mathematics are. I have had a good look around uh, the Total War forums and I can't find anything about the exact nature of the maths involved. But it certainly looks like even with no shields, they are massively, massively improved in terms of their defensive capability, he says, as about six people got shot down. But the, it, it is definitely making a difference. And um, they're, taking sh they're taking fire from all directions here. Right, so uh, in summary, after this video and after about two days of me playing around with all sorts of different units, I don't really know what the exact mechanics are, but it seems to massively boost their overall defence and not simply the shield. Presumably nothing to do with defence skill, that makes no difference as I've said before, but yeah, it looks like the overall defence is being massively improved here, which uh, was not quite what I was expecting actually, but there we go. Impressive work, Sam Knight's impressive work. With the gladiators establishing then that you can have a testudo with zero shields, what exactly are the restrictions on this formation? Well, number one, you do have to be an infantry unit. That's very, very clear indeed. You can't be a handler, a siege equipment, or a cavalry unit. But we can see here the villages are missiles, so it's not just light or heavy infantry. The missile units can use them as well. But you notice that I mentioned the head hurlers from Britain don't work, in spite of having a sword, in spite of having zero shield. And we know that these things are workable. Well, the key thing here is this line here. The primary weapon on the Villatez is a javelin. And that is the key part here. If you're going to have a missile infantry unit, it needs to be a javelin unit. Now, this is exactly the same as you will see in a normal Testudo unit, the units that are supposed to use Testudo. So if we search for that, we'll go to the early legionary cohort, for example, and they throw the Pelum rather than the kind of generic javelin, but it's essentially the same weapon there backed up by a sword. That's what we're seeing with the Velite as well. So that's why they work. So what we want to do is just test a few other units, things like the Illyrian mercenaries. So if we head down to the Illyrians, I'm going to go and add Testudo onto them. Now they are very similar, as you can see here, get the spacing correct. They throw a good old spear here, followed by a sword. So we'll play as the rebels and we'll use these chaps in battle. There's a few other guys we could use as well. We could use the Spanish mercenaries, who are, of course, a kind of a very similar version to the Astarte. They should work no issue. So we're going to try those guys as well. Testudo. But the last things I want to look at, there are Druids and Forest of Warbands. But um, before we go to that, I'll just point out the difference with the Head Hurlers. So if we go back to the Head Hurlers, indeed they're the Head Hunting Maidens. I forgot about those ones. So we have our Head Hurlers here. They are archery. And that's the difference here. They are using fire archery. And um, that is causing a bit of a confusion in the game files. It's expecting it to be a javelin. Now, the main way we could test this is to find a different archery unit that uses a sword, but there are very, very few. It's only the chosen warband, and they have their own problem, but we'll come and see that before too long. So the chosen archer warband, we will grab one of those. We're gonna grab the Gallic chap here. So we'll add on Testudo there. And finally, we're going to add in the Druids because, um, well, why not? It's another interesting example. We can use it with the Slaves. You know what? Yeah, we'll use the Slave version of the Druids. So we will add all of these things in and we'll have our final test. Here we have then three units who should all work. We have the Spanish Mercenaries forming up right now. Shields will be going overhead very, very soon. We'll get the Illyrian Mercenaries on their way. We see the Druids back here are marching, but there's a bit of an issue with the Druids. Lovely work by the Spaniards there. Right, the Druids are in formation, but as you can see, it is taking up their special ability and um, now can't disable it, which is interesting. So no chanting and... Um, yeah, they're stuck in this forever now, which isn't really ideal. So try and avoid units who have that kind of ability already. This is the other reason, though. We're going to have an issue with the likes of archers, and we'll come to the Forest of Warband in a moment. These guys are working, so we can start to see now there's a very consistent nature to which units work and which ones don't, and uh, very much as a case of infantry 
light, heavy, medium, or missile, it's fine. But if it's missile, it's going to have to be a javelin missile unit. And we know they've obviously got to use swords. The shields really don't matter. But we'll just jump back to the Forest of Warband for one final look because, yeah, there is one other little problem there. Finally, then we come into the Forest of Warband, and you can see here that they are using fire ammo. And that's exactly where the Testudo button should be. A bit like with the Druids, they've now got two special abilities. And this means that the game is picking one over the other. And in this case, they are not getting the Testudo. Probably for the better, to be honest. Yes, it certainly seems like if you want to get the Testudo on units that are missile troops, it's got to be a Javelin unit and a Javelin unit who also uses a sword. In the end, it's been a fair bit of experimenting, but it seems like there's a pretty clear criteria when it comes down to it. That's all for now then, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me here today on this Games Guide edition of Rome Total War. And of course, I hope you enjoy modding the game for yourself. Certainly, there are plenty of other units that can still be explored. Do let me know in the comments below of any unit you found particularly interesting, or indeed of any video you'd like to see in the future because both this Testudo and the Phalanx video before it have been things that have been requested on the channel comments. So um, I will have a good look at those, and maybe, just maybe, your video will come up before too long. Obviously, though, Rome Total War Remastered is coming out. Chances are this will still be relevant, as the files are supposed to be very, very much the same kind of thing. But we will see. If we need an updated video, we shall do that. But for now, I will leave you. I am Thomas. This is To Notice the Human. And this has been our guide to test studios in Rome Total War. Thank you and goodbye. Death and violence will come to you. This is a beautiful, beautiful town, by the way, guys. Let's go and smash it up. Dum tum ti 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 ti. How did you die? What is happening to my men? Steve! He was the one man who tried!